Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to try to film the Blushes Bay Tag again. I just filmed it and it was crap, so let's do it again. So I got tagged by Amanda, so thank you very much lady. You are tagging me in everything at the moment. But I have here 15 questions that is created by Danny and one other, I can't remember her name, Letitia, something like that. Um, so I'm very sorry, but they will be linked down below, just as always. So the first question is cream or powder blush? I am definitely a powder blush girl. I have some cream blushes, but I do prefer my powders, just because they're easier to work with. Um, I find it very hard to make liquid and cream blushes work, but I do have a few and I hope to go through them this year. Second question, weirdest color blush in your collection? I'm very basic. I'm a peachy blush girl, so I don't really have any red or purple blushes, but the most pigmented and out there blush I have is the one from Catrice. It is the defining blush in Think Pink, if I can open it. Yeah. It is very, very pigmented, but it is so pretty. Um, so it is this swatch here. I really, really love this blush, but I think that is my most out there blush I have. Question number three is, do you prefer high-end or drugstore blushes? I mostly have drugstore blushes, but I do really like my high-end, <laughs> those that I have. So just because I have mostly drugstore, I have mostly been trying those, so I will say drugstore, but I really want to uh, try some more high-end blushes just to yeah, feel, feel the hype a little bit about high-end stuff. So the most expensive blush. My most expensive blush is my MAC Pro Longwear blush in Make You Mine. This is so, so stunning and it is a darker color, um, but yeah, this is my most expensive one. It is very, very close uh, in price to the, the Balm blushes in Denmark at least, so that's that. My most inexpensive blush. I guess it is my Essence Mosaic blush. This is Miss Floor Coral. I really, really love this color and it is so, so pretty. I can see the this shade in here wears down much more faster than the others, but it is stunning and I really, really like this blush. Um, it is very great quality um, compared to the price. Number six is Ferret Blush Single. And that must be my Benefit Fred Boy blush. It is from the Balm. Um, it is just a very nice peachy pink shade. And yeah, yeah, it was one of my first blushes as well. Um, in my collection right now at least. And I love it. <laughs> I really, really like it. Um, so Fairy Blush Palette. It is going to be my W7 Casino Blush Highlight and Contour just because it is the closest I have to a blush palette. These three is the blushes I use and then highlight. This was supposed to be a contour but it is shimmery and I don't like a shimmery contour. So this is my favorite actually and it is so good. It's so good quality. My I have a Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette as well or a face palette actually, because these are highlighters, a bronze and then three blushes, but I haven't played around with it that much. And then I have my C palette with some Benefit blushes, so this is the closest that I can get to a blush palette, so I guess that's that. <laughs> the oldest blush in your collection, that is going to be my MAC blush that I just talked about before, and a few months after I bought the, the balm. Fred Boy blush, so those are the oldest ones in my collection. The newest blush is going to be one of these blushes I have in the W7 Mad Me blush line. Um, and then just before that, maybe a month or two before, I got the W7 Cheeky Flusher that is a dupe for the NARS Orgasm blush. I really, really like this as well. But these are really, really nice blushes right here. Watch your party blush. 
Um, I didn't really know, but I think I have reached out for this more just because I know the color and I know it's going to work for me. It is the Balm the Fred Boy blush. So, just a safe, it's just a safe blush to use in a, on uh, if I'm going out. Brands you have four more of. Um, I have six um, benefit blushes. I have Dandelion Rocketure. Curlista, Sugar Bump, and a mixture of Dandelion and Rogature. And then I have a small size of the California Box Blush. Right here. And then I have four of the W7 Mad Me Blush blushes. I really, really like these. These are amazing blushes. Do you have any blush buying regrets? No. I don't. I love all of my blushes and even though I have gotten some of them for free from W7, I really like those blushes as well because they really do make nice blushes. So no, I have no regrets at all. A blush you purchase, purchased, <laughs> a blush you bought because of another YouTuber. This, the Balm blush was very very hyped, I really wanted to try a MAC blush because they were really hyped as well. Um, the Benefit Box blushes. Goodness, they are hyped. Um, so I guess I bought those because of a YouTuber. I don't have a specific name, but they will really popular. So I guess those. Is there a blush from a brand that you haven't tried that is on your wish list? I, I have a dream of trying a Too Faced blush. One of these the small heart blushes. I will insert a picture so you know what I'm talking about. I've heard such good things about those, so I really want to try one of those. Um, I don't really have a certain blush in mind though. Favorite blush brushes? I have a few. So I really, really like using these five and for different reasons. <laughs> this is a more fluffy one, so it applies it more um, soft. It is the Real Technique blush brush. If I have a more dense um, blush that I want to make progress on faster, this is the Luxie, Luxie Beauty Large Angled Blush brush. <laughs> um, just angled brush. This is the Real Technique Stibble brush. I really really like these for this for cream or powder because it's very very dense and soft. So again, if I have a more dense blush, I use that one. This I use for my liquid blushes at the moment. It is the Flomar Stable Brush. Really, really nice and it is so big, it covers all the cheeks. Oh, very fast. And I really, really like this one from Soeva. It is the Petite Stippling Brush for my cream blushes or liquid. These are the brushes I usually use for my blushes. I hope you enjoyed this tag. I enjoyed making it. I hope you will stick around on my channel. So subscribe down below if you haven't already. I do a lot of tags, favorites, get ready with me, pretty pants, all those sort of things. If you have a wish for me or a wish or video request or anything, leave it down below. I would love to do it. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.